Hey, my dear students. So today, Ms. Plan going to uh, show you how to do the sumi ink frog. Okay, it's not complex, but let's talk about the material first. Uh, please have a piece of paper. Uh, try to find a piece of paper a little thicker than usual because as you know, we're going to use water. And what else? As you know, we have just uh, finish a beautiful sumi ink turkey in the class with your teacher. So yes, you're right, the sumi ink. <laughs> the sumi ink you can buy from Amazon or some uh, supermarket, it's called sumi ink. It's like the sumi ink, black sumi ink, okay? And also the cup of water and then the brush. Brush, please choose the round brush. Masala has a two brushes here. As you see, one's bigger, another one's smaller, but they're all the round brush. Do not use a flat brush. What is called round brush? You see the tips is round. And in the class, we introduced how to use the brushes wherever. I believe you still remember. <laughs> You're amazing. So we're going to use the tip of the brush and also the tummy of the brush. I prefer to call them tummy, okay? Use the tip of the brush, also use the side of the brush. So the two poses, do you still remember? One standing up your hands, light pressure. Another one is lay down, use the side of your brush, okay? No worry if you cannot remember. So that's the reason why I'm here to talk about it. Please make sure you have a cup of water, okay? Yes, and uh, we're ready. So uh, if you have your computer or you have a book with a frog there, that would be great. Practice how to see is always more than important, more important uh, than practice how to draw. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So I'm going to use my bigger brush. There is a number five round brush. It's a what color brush, okay? You can use a relatively bigger one, but not super huge one, like the medium size, that's good, or some big brushes you have. Okay, and now I put my brushes in the water. I said it's like my brush is drinking water. My brush is super thirsty. <laughs> okay, tap on the tissue paper, dry. So let's get started. I'm going to start it with a uh, the frog's head. Oh, you may have a question. Hey, Miss Lan, you, didn't, you do not use a pencil to pre-draw. Yeah, in the traditional Chinese painting, we don't need it. So our brush is also our pencil. Do you remember the mar marks? Uh, you know, we keep talking the brush strokes and also the marks, so we're going to leave it there, right? For the turkey painting too. Okay, so I just directly use my uh, brushes. So if, you, if you're not comfortable, you also can draw some basic ideas. What's going on? The tummy. This is the head, there is a body, there is a tummy, and also I want one leg is going this direction, this one's here, another one there, and I have a little feet. Okay, but it's not necessary. <laughs> okay, so then apply the dark sumi ink. Uh, as you know, in the class, we have two values, two colors. One color is super dark sumi ink, no water, without water. Another one is a lighter ink, uh, teacher mix it for you. So for this frog, you don't need to mix the color. You just use the sumi ink directly from the bottle. Okay, there's my round brush. We're talking about how to use a brush. Let's have a quick review. You know, when you're standing up, you can create some skinny lines. Okay, see the skinny lines, right? And use a tip. And also when you lay down your brush and you can create some fatter, bigger brush stroke, right? And also go one direction, do not go back and forth. Okay, our painting time. Look, so look, my brush is facing the this way, the tip of the head. You see there's a triangle shape. I'm trying to use the shape of my brush to mix you know, to fit that. You see that? Oh, it's much easier for you to see, right? So actually, I apply the one brush stroke here, another brush stroke there. I'm trying to fill the whole thing in by my two brush strokes. It's good. If you cannot, you can add in one more. It's fine, okay? Okay, and then I lay down my brush, use the side of my brush to do one brush stroke here, one brush stroke here, another brush stroke there. You see? Okay, I finished the head and then the body. And then 
now I'm going to lift up my brush. If you're not comfortable, use the thicker and the bigger brushes for the small area or the skinny area. You can switch to the skinny one. Okay, I can use this one. You can too. So use a tip. If you don't have enough ink, reapply the ink. And please make sure you're standing up, right, my artist? Okay, light pressure. Tummy. Okay, another part of the tummy. Very nice. Okay, and then we're going to draw the legs. As you know, the frog has what? How many? Okay, four. You got it. Okay, take a look at my spine. Right now, I'm going to press my brush a little harder, a little down. It has more pressures in order to create the thick line. Okay, take a look. The legs, they have muscles, right? This leg here, press down, and gently lay and gradually lift up. Okay, and then there's a knee. It's another one it's going down. Oh, there's the second part of the leg, right? For the foot, I will go one, two, three. See that? Another leg, I want to have a different gesture. Absolutely, right? Oops. Okay, so go this way, and then going down, and then the foot is all that. If you accidentally make some mistake, it's fine. You can quickly to fix it. Okay, but please do not go back and forth. And please do not, do not just draw and feel the color in. No. Okay? Yes. Okay. There's an arm. I want the arm is also going down. Arm is slightly smaller and skinnier. I'm going this way. And Ooh, yeah, so another foot is coming out from there. I can see a little bit if I want to draw. Okay, and then the eye, I will definitely lift up my brush and only use a tip with a super, super light pressure to eyes. Give the pupils. Hey, one frog. <laughs> okay, okay, and you can have different gestures of the frog. Okay, because the limitation of the time, I'm not going to draw another one. Uh, I'm using the watercolor paper. In the traditional Chinese painting, painting, we're using Sumi ink uh, on the rice paper. If you have a really beautiful spreading out, you know that paper is made of cotton. If you do have rice paper, you absolutely want to have a try. And trust yourself, you can absolutely do it work well. Okay, because Turkey, we have just finished in the class is much, much harder than that, right? Take a look at the frog. Enjoy to doing the frog. And if you want, you can create, you know, some other, create your own story, for example. So do you know what is a frog's baby look like? Oh, yeah, it's different from the frog's mama, right? Yes, they have a little hat and a little tails there. So I'm going to create a few of them. They're looking for their mother. <laughs> They're wondering, hey, uh, we look different. Yeah, you know, in the nature, there's a lot of animals when they're little baby, they're all different from their mom. When they're growing up, yes, they will be the same. And you see the direction of the little tail I created is all different. And also the weaving because they're swimming, right? We need to create some movement in the water. Yes. And at the end, if you seriously want, you can create some homes, but uh, it's not mandatory, okay? Homework is always you do whatever you want. If you don't want to draw the frog, you also can do different, okay? And uh, uh, for example, the frog is living uh, water lady pond. <laughs>